Hello everybody, my name is Jewett, and welcome back to the sixth episode of Resident Evil Village. I cut a lot out, there was a lot of walking in this episode, and also, uh, I finished recording and realized I didn't turn my mic on, so we get secondary commentary from me. Um, this... Okay, full disclosure, if you are, like, watching this around your grandma, or, like, you have, like, a tendency to fucking faint, turn this off. This is horrifying. Okay? It's got the two worst things in the world in it. Dolls and children. And, and it's dark. So if that upsets you, get out of here now. Or just fast forward through those parts. They're, 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 dude. This whole fucking part is fucked up. Okay, just buckle in and let's go. Drink your coffee. Ethan. What? By the way, I got a new setup. Got a new background. Bigger space. Hope you guys like it. Ethan, come with me. There's something I have to tell you. Mia? What's going on? Don't do it, bro. She dead, dog. Rose feels different. Ethan, you have to fix her. Like a mirage? What the hell is this? Everyone leaves me. Even Rose. I don't want to be alone. This bitch out here blaming it. This can't be real. Ah, yes. The Queen of the Graveyard. I love all their last names in this game. Beneviento. Very Italian sounding. Maybe it's not Italian sounding. I in my head I'm like, yeah, that sounds Italian. Ah, Beneviento. Or whatever, you know. This was neat. Because you've had this alright, so it's like a mailbox slip and it says give up your memories, and I was like, fucking oh, my family photo that I've had since the game started. Boom. I love the puzzles. Now, I will say, the puzzles in this are What's amazing. Loved it. I loved this whole level. I just hate this kind of shit. It's my actual hell. My real fears. Ugh. But I do, in fact, love that this game incorporates, like, so many elevators in rocks. Also, this game is extremely good at uh, just random, ambient, like, bump in the night noises that literally keep you on your toes. You never feel alone. And that, they, I mean, just, like, hats off, fucking applaud. They did exactly that. They nailed that aspect. And it sucks I didn't have my mic on because I had a really good joke right here because I was like, oh god, oh god, it's dark. And then I turned it on and I was like, oh no, there's writing on the wall and I'm very superstitious. And it's just not going to have the same flavor because it wasn't authentic just now. But I had to tell that joke again because how do you not tell that joke? Alright, so we made it out of the, out of the elevator cave. And whoosh. To the front doors we go. <sighs> this was a very interesting laid out house. 
So yeah, that's their picture of their dank weed that they grow. Yeah, and then I found this room and I was like, oh, wallpaper's different. Then I was like, oh, wallpaper looks like shit. I must be going the right way. And then I find another fucking elevator and I'm like, yep, yep, I found the right place. These dreaded fucking elevators. Just had to check that door. You always gotta check the door right beside the place where you're supposed to continue the game. That's just the way it works. Found their uh, reel of film room. God, I hate how this close, this fucking close, everything sounds like it is. Oh yeah, oh yeah, this room was lovely. It's like a mannequin butchery. Beautiful little pirate music in the background. Nah, I've been waiting for so long. I'd make a much better daughter than Rose. Please, won't you stay with me forever? No, bitch. No, I ain't. What? Wait, that where's my gun? me up, because I didn't even realize that. I was like, what the fuck do you mean, where's my gun? So I just went ahead and saved, and I was like, okay. What do we do? There's a, there's a lock on the door now. I don't know the combo. This is real. They literally took absolute everything, excuse me, absolutely everything away. There's this encryption on this door. I gotta find the last piece. All the doors are locked. This is a shitty time. Then I discovered this mannequin that I can examine. Looks an awful whole lot like me. Yes, I shall tear off your deltoid. Her wooden, her wooden patella just popped with anticipation, winding down on the inside. Yes, we shall set it to the side. Th this part was actually really neat, the significance of that right there. Which we shall find momentarily. Uh, 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 we ain't got nothing to see the mannequin boobies with. Hey, baby. <laughs> yes, we have nothing. There's something in there, though. Wonder what it is. Oh. This game, this level still is just, ugh, not even playing it. I'm just, just watching myself do this. Oh my god. There was a lot of walking going on in this. I cut out like almost an hour of recording of just running and not knowing what to do just to give you all the highlights to keep you all entertained, to keep the story progressing. Editing is a big deal. It's a lot. There's a lot going on with the editing. That sounded exactly like something Donald Trump would say. Yes, the editing. There's a lot going on with the editing. <laughs> but he does it. He does it for the fans. We love the fans. That's why we do it.
the combo to the uh, to the front door is on the wedding band, and it's also the day they got married. Spoopy. How did they even know? I don't know why I went up and back down and up and back down. It, it, it happens. Boom. Alright, let's go, baby. Oh. I was like, oh, oh, oh. I then, alright, we just, okay. You know, I kept opening oh, blah, 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 blah. I kept opening those up and going, damn, there's nothing in there ever. And I don't know why. Why is this here? Well, this was pretty cool. Um, that they incorporated this. For those that don't know, this is called a hurdy gurdy. Hurdy gurdy. Had to match up the scratches to make sure it was right. Yes, the hurdy gurdy music box gave me the tweezers. Now I've got to make it back to the mannequin's mouth. I have found it. Hey, you come here often. <laughs> Oh, I've got to reel a film. Oh, I hate, I hate it. This is the, this is where it starts getting, uh, starts getting bad. Well, I mean, it's it's fixing to. It's it's all on the rise. Ooh, fuck. So basically, the uh, the film strips there and that little piece of paper beside it. Uh, the paper beside it had clues, and it's like, and you had to follow the clues to put the film in the right order. There they are. Boom. Play. Some serious ring vibes.
So watching the Ring movie opened up the, uh, the bookshelf. And then I was like, Ugh, oh my god. And then I turn around. And I'm like, ah, oh my god. I wish y'all could have been there for the first time. I was genuinely authentic by myself. Nobody in the world will ever hear that. But, um, conveniently, that one had a pair of scissors in its hand. And I was, for a second, I was like, gotta make it back to the mannequin. And I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna go through here because I bet it's shorter. God. Literally, that you watched the movie and then the phone rang. Some serious ring vibes. I was expecting it to be like seven days. <laughs> Please, Ethan, listen to me. I didn't want to keep it from you. Mia? I didn't want to lose you again. I didn't want to destroy this family. Mia, what are you talking about? There's so many unexplained noises in this in this game. You just walk in a room and it's like it's like you startled some ghost and it just like dropped a can of fucking tomatoes and just ran out. Every time you go somewhere new. Alright, so we got the breastplate off of the mannequin. Took me a minute, so I just skipped it until it worked. Um, I, I'm no genius. I did a lot of trial and error right here. Oh, God. Why don't y'all look? <laughs> oh, God. Excuse me. Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, Lord. Yeah, I wasn't a fan of the self-rocking rocker. Even though I claim to be a self-rocking rocker myself. There's a floating mannequin, but we came all the way down here literally for the breaker box key. But, it was neat. And you think you're gonna die the whole time that you're going and getting this. I'm kind of glitched out right here. <laughs> Got hung up on the side. God, I had to get out of here. I just I fucking hated that. I can't stand that noise. Ooh. But that's... That's pretty mild. Not a bad one yet. Just looking around. The mannequin's gone. Gotta follow this trail of blood on the ground. <laughs> so I had to outrun it all the way to the breaker box. And grab that. And I did outrun it. That's why it's that's why the music's going away. But I have to find the door with the woman holding the child. There's there's I mean literally that's the doll. I don't know why it won't let me interact with her. But we finished the crest. 
And we go down into this piece of shit part of the place. That door's currently locked, and the bookcases are in the way, so I turned around and just admired the molding fruit for like two seconds. And apparently that unlocks the door, so we proceed in through the kitchen. And there's the fuse. Now everything's dark because I took the fuse. Um, and then I just realized what these were for. Classic horror game. Hide in the closet. But I was like, am I ever really going to need to use that? God, that's so bad. It's so bad. The fucking screaming and the and the dad. Oh my god, it's all just bad. This is my actual hell. This is my real hell loop. I don't like it. I don't like it. I hated it. But I left it in just for you guys. being a soulless bastardized manipulation of fucking life. Ugh. And it's back! I had to leave the working elevator! I thought there might have been something behind the bookcase, but it just showed me the name of the book. Go, go, go! Oh, oh my god. Oh, oh God, I hated that so bad. Oh. And now everything is hazy. But at least there's no more babies. Full disclaimer, there are no more babies. I'll let y'all know that. Bitch. Try and find me. <laughs> uh, 
There's founder number one. Fucking monster. <laughs> Things right. What? Good. I need to get out of this place. And now we've got the decorated four winged key. No, so the four winged unborn all this? key. That makes two. Huh, and that's the end of the house. And along the way back, I found a sun and moon ball in a random house, along with a new shotgun that I will show you in episode 7. Uh, I got it in that house earlier. And I got the onyx skull. And uh, I found a place to save right there. And I found Luthier's key. And I don't know what it is or why but it's kind of neat looked like it had maybe a guitar or a cello or something on it um and that was all the time i had uh for that episode of resident evil village i hope you all enjoyed it it seemed like a pretty quick one but like i said there was a lot of running and a lot of dead time so i had to cut that stuff out to give you guys the highlights anyway i hope you enjoyed it slam that geek button and ring that liberty bell for more content my name is jewett and i will see you in the next video hopefully i remember to turn my microphone on Bye bye